Hello, we're back at it with another series because no one clicks on episode 2. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a voiceover for this first part of the video because I forgot to turn down the Minecraft in-game music, which I got copyrighted for before. I don't know. You'd think that games would make their in-game music non-copyrighted, but Minecraft didn't do that. Nope. So, <laughs> voiceover. So, sorry if the audio doesn't match perfectly. <laughs> An art joke. <laughs> it's looking for a spot to build my house. Would this be a good area. There's a nice flat area where I can build a nice, good-sized house. The river over there. Should I build it somewhere near the river? Says the river would be good for growing crops and stuff. Some wood would probably be good for building a base. Let's get some of that. Okay, just grab all the saplings. And I do have vein miner on, because it just makes it less annoying to mine trees. <laughs> kind of been playing with vein miner so much that I don't want to mine trees normally because it's boring. <laughs> so yeah, I do have vein miner. It just, it just makes it more interesting, so we get back with your most interesting stuff instead of just five hours mining. Yeah. Well, I have quite a bit of saplings. It's first recording, we're looking for a spot to build like an oak block. I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, nice flat area though. Over here looks pretty good. Some of these little flowers and stuff in the way. Do need to clear out a bit of area for this. Just can kind of mine some of that, grab the seeds, and then I just do this. Because with some trees in the game, they can actually just grow next to each other and form a giant block of logs. It doesn't work with spruce. I, I haven't tried it with all stuff, but I think it should probably work with... It definitely works with oak. I think it should work with acacia, because they've grown acacia next to each other, but I haven't tried it in the block technique, so acacia may or may not work. Spruce definitely doesn't. I don't know about any of the other wood types either. Actually, birch grows pretty much the same as oaks. I think birch should also work for the block technique. Okay, some squeeds. What's the squeed doing? What's the squeed doing? What's squid doing? What's squid doing? What's the squid doing? What's the squid doing? What's the squid doing? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> like, how are you supposed to voice over someone running into a squid, though? <laughs> Running around, trying to find a spot for a house or something. It's one of those annoying beetle things. It's a beetle that are kind of hostile in this game, so I don't want to build my base in somewhere with the beetles, so I just look for another area. Which could be good for building a Minecraft house. Just walking over back to the village. And I finally found the flat area right next to my tree farm. Nice and flat, plenty of room for a weird house. Thing. One of my trees grew, so I'm collecting it. Punching it. Because why not? I don't even know. Yeah, some, some bread. Just looking for food, because I was low on food. Just also stealing some gear from a random guy. Villager thingy. Punch the thing. We got some of the saplings. But we can expand our tree block. Now that the, the tree block technique doesn't usually drop as many saplings because there's not as much area for the leaves to go and there's actually a bunch of blocks there. So the leaves are like gonna overlap and there won't be as many leaves. If you can like understand what I'm saying. I don't know, it doesn't be easier to understand why. So pretty much you won't get as many saplings doing it the block way as if you just mining individual trees. Yes, you know, if you want to do the, the tree block technique, tree growing technique. Yeah, also I recommend doing it with vein miner. Just so that's the main reason I'm doing it, just because they're next to each other, so I can just break one block and get a stack. Yeah, I'm just gonna build like a weird little base and just gonna get some weird framework done and. Yeah, you'll see later what I mean by I'm making a weird base. 
Yeah, well, that might actually voice over this whole video because turns out the audio for the second part of the video I recorded sounds terrible. Even though I turned on the Minecraft music, it won't get copyrighted, but it sounds terrible like the Minecraft in game noises. Like, I don't know, they sound really weird. Like, I'll show you what I mean. The recording video thingy, whatever you want to call it. Looking to down into these mines so if I don't die in the game. See what I mean? Like, it sounds really weird, like, the footsteps are like, the, I don't know, the pitch is off, maybe? I don't know, but it sounds really bad, so I'm voiceovering this entire video now. <laughs> I'm just getting some torches, so pretty much I found a cave, uh, I'm just gonna explore it on camera. Yeah. Also a bit of a spoiler alert, like, my headphone audio wasn't working, so, uh... May or may not have gotten snuck up on by a couple mobs. <sighs> uh, there's like some weird stone bricks there. It's like, I don't know, maybe it was a mob spawner or something. I didn't really explore it. Yeah, I'm just gonna light up some stuff so mobs don't sneak up on me while I mine the weird green ore. Yeah, yeah I'm playing modded. There's, there's some mods, as I forgot to say, I was playing modded earlier. Yeah, we have some mods. Uh, there's new biomes, new ores, and stuff. And, like, quite a few different things. Also, like, a bunch of new enchantments and stuff. So, yeah, <laughs> pretty much a plan on a mod pack. I don't know, I'll, have a, I'll, I'll tell you what the mod pack is. If this video either gets up to 100 views in, in total, up to 10 likes in total, or up to getting me 5 more subscribers on the series videos in total. And I'll tell you what mod bag I made and about that. Just figure out how to get the views somehow. Okay, got some iron. There's some weird lava stuff down there. Let's keep exploring down this way. Some sapphires, let's grab those. Gonna be pretty useful. Place some weird little blocky blocks with the torchy torch. So what's this? I'm just gonna see if I can uncover any resources hidden behind this gravel by punching it. No, there's nothing there. Some iron over here. Iron can be useful. I'm just going to punch some of this stuff. Not really anything hiding behind that gravel either. Yeah, I'm trying to go back to explore the ravine to see if I can maybe take on some of the mobs. Cause I do have a shield. And I'm just gonna try to take on some of the mobs. See, see if there's anything interesting down there. There's a creep, creep, creep. Ah, who attacked me? It's probably like a skeleton or something down there. So my inventory is way too full. <laughs> Pickaxe is magnetic, so all the useless drops are kind of following me around. I have a found skeleton that was attacking. That creeper's gonna blow up. It's gonna kind of light some of this up. Oh, there's another creeper. A lot of creepers down here. Why is it so hard to destroy creepers without them blowing up? There's quite a lot of ore down here. Just kind of light it up a bit. Maybe light it up a bit more. Ah, this is a zombie. What? Whack, whack, whack. Eat some of that bread. Some of this board stuff, that's, that should be useful because I can actually make a gem pouch with that to store all my gems in. Yeah, man. Why is my inventory so full? Just gonna grab some of the iron. Some of the, how did you pronounce that? The Right, whatever it's called, it's definitely not what it's called. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so this fiery glass that'll let us get better torches and it's also better fuel source than coal. Pretty much it's just less boring coal. Uh, and my headphone audio wasn't working so I couldn't hear the creeper coming, but yeah, I'm just gonna sleep in the Minecrafts and it's probably all the cave exploring for this video. Just gonna put some of my random gunk in a chest. Maybe make my torch inventory management less stupid. 
Put some stuff there. I probably don't need to keep the spider eye chest. Just gonna put some of my random gunk in there that I may or may not need later. Yeah. Also, I'll show you, I'll show you my cool trash can design because there's two trap doors, so it's actually magnetic tool proof. Because now it, it can't actually get close enough to you for you to be able to pick up your garbage again. It's good for inventory management. It's a cool trash can design I made. That's probably going to be about it for this video. <laughs> See you next time. And uh, please click, click on episode 2 of my series. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.